Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. A great talker may be no fool, but he is one that relies on him. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Lost time is never found again. <laughs> when you incline to have new clothes, look first well over the old ones and see if you cannot shift with them another year, either by scouring, mending, or even patching if necessary. Eat to live and not live to eat. A man of words and not of deeds is like a garden full of weeds. A fat kitchen makes a lean will. Don't go to the doctor with every distemper, nor to the lawyer with every quarrel, nor to the pot for every thirst. I never saw an oft-removed tree, nor yet an oft-removed family, that throve so well as those that settled be. Fear to do ill, and you need fear naught else. If you would not be forgotten as soon as you are dead and rotten, either write things worth reading or do things worth the writing. Be not sick too late, nor well too soon. A learned blockhead is a greater blockhead than an ignorant one. It is a common error in friends when they would extol their friends to make comparisons and to depreciate the merits of others. Each year one vicious habit rooted out in time might make the worst man good throughout. Remember, a patch on your coat and money in your pocket is better and more creditable than a writ on your back and no money to take it off. When there is so much to be done for yourself, your family and your country be up by peep of day, let not the sun look down and say, Inglorious here he lies. He's the best physician that knows the worthlessness of the most medicines. Would you live with ease, do what you ought and not what you please? Eat to please yourself, but dress to please others. Man and woman have each of them qualities and tempers in which the other is deficient and which in union contribute to the common felicity. He that is known to pay punctually and exactly to the time he promises may at any time and on any occasion raise all the money his friends can spare. Early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Life, like a dramatic piece, should not only be conducted with regularity, but it should finish handsomely. God helps them who help themselves.
The art of getting riches consists very much in thrift. All men are not equally qualified for getting money, but it is in the power of everyone alike to practice this virtue. Having been poor is no shame, being ashamed of it is. If a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. Our opinions are not in our own power. They are formed and governed much by circumstances that are often as inexplicable as they are irresistible. Tricks and treachery are the practice of fools that don't have brains enough to be honest. A penny saved is a penny earned. I would advise you to read with a pen in hand and enter in a little book short hints of what you find that is curious or that may be useful, for this will be the best method of imprinting such particulars in your memory. Reading makes a full man, meditation a profound man, discourse a clear man. There are in life real evils enough, and it is folly to afflict ourselves with imaginary ones. It is time enough when the real ones arrive. You may delay, but time will not. Work as if you were to live a hundred years. Pray as if you were to die tomorrow. Hope and faith may be more firmly built upon charity than charity upon faith and hope. If a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. One today is worth two tomorrows. I look upon death to be as necessary to our constitution as sleep. Life's tragedy is that we get old too soon and wise too late. We need a revolution every 200 years because all governments become stale and corrupt after 200 years. Security without liberty is called prison. The best of all medicines are rest and fasting. When you're finished changing, you're finished. It seems to me that if statesmen had a little more arithmetic or were accustomed to calculation, wars would be much less frequent. The most trifling actions of a man, in my opinion, as well as the smallest features and lineaments of the face give a nice observer some notion of his mind. He who sacrifices freedom for security deserves neither. I never knew a man who was good at making excuses who was good at anything else. Common sense is something that everyone needs, few have, and none think they lack. Rather go to bed without dinner than to rise in debt. 
Most men die from the neck up at age 25 because they stop dreaming. The ancients tell us what is best, but we must learn of the moderns what is fittest. I don't believe in stereotypes. I prefer to hate people on a more personal basis. To lengthen thy life, lessen thy meals. Do not anticipate trouble or worry about what may never happen. Keep in the sunlight. He that is of the opinion money will do everything may well be suspected of doing everything for money. Content makes poor men rich, discontentment makes rich men poor. Employ your time well, if you mean to get leisure. Well done is better than well said. Energy and persistence conquer all things. If you would know the value of money, go try to borrow some, for he that goes a-borrowing goes a-sorrowing. The eye of the master will do more work than both his hands. Creditors have better memories than debtors. Hide not your talents, they for use were made. What's a sundial in the shade? When the well's dry, we know the worth of water. To the generous mind, the heaviest debt is that of gratitude, when it is not in our power to repay it. If you would persuade, you must appeal to interest rather than intellect. Words may show a man's wit, but actions his meaning. There are three things extremely hard, steel, a diamond, and to know oneself. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. If you know how to spend less than you get, you have the philosopher's stone. Beware of little expenses. A small leak will sink a great ship. Which of the quotes do you like the most? Please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.